there, it's Linda Cromar coming to you from Colorado, and I am so happy that I have my new phone. So I'm going to be giving you some really good stuff today. So go ahead and share it, because I promise you it will definitely be worth it. How are you doing? I am so happy to be back with a real phone that doesn't freeze up. <laughs> earlier part of the day getting this set up so that I could give you some good stuff today so go ahead and share it's going to be worth it and um, tell me where you're scoping in from where what part of the country what part of the world are you coming from haven't done that in a while share who you are and where you're from people are starting to come in who are you <laughs> definitely you want to say who you are you're from texas awesome and it's mandy welcome mandy from texas and then who else is here in the house fun fun stuff are you enjoying periscope are you really getting some fun stuff out of it i'm just curious what you think about it now that you've been on it for a little while it's not absolutely brand new one of the things that was taking me you know kind of out of the the business just a couple of days is that the yeah you like it i do too i really do like it i like the interactivity of it and i like it when people actually ask questions or make comments those are really i i just think that's really cool because you can't do that in a any other kind of format that I know of uh, very easily you know sometimes in webinars but it's not as interactive so absolutely now I talked about branding this is one of the most misunderstood um, things that I think out there that you can find uh, so I had this kind of silly graphic and I thought I would talk about it a few minutes a lot of people think you have to spend a huge amount of money or advertising or that kind of thing in order to create something online that actually attracts people to you with the kind of information that you want them to know about <laughs> yeah <laughs> and um, there have been times when I have actually um, spent a huge amount of money trying to build something that didn't really succeed and I have learned a few things that I think can help you so I wanted to do something real quick here because this is something I started doing real early on I am actually googling my own personal name and I'm going to send that in and it's going to bring up a result that is quite interesting this is my own result just happens that my my own name is unique enough that nobody else has that name so as far as the marker goes there is somebody that has the first name but not the combination of the first and the last so a lot of times people don't understand what branding really is it's it's when you start to really establish who you are in the marketplace it's actually not attached to any particular company or product because when you start saying that you're Linda Herbalife well they have already established a name if you think about it Herbalife has already done the branding work for their own company and you don't want to do that because that actually hurts you in the end to name yourself after a company what if that changes what if for some reason you're not associated with that anymore so you don't want to do that you want to make sure that your own name is unique and if you have a common name that everybody else has even the combination of your first and last then come up with a way without using you know something that is totally off you could call yourself uh, Mandy marketing if you wanted to that would be unique but make sure whatever you decide is is kind of generic in a sense that it's not necessarily about your business that you're involved with but it's going to be something that you can attach any of the things that you're doing to it does that make sense to you I, I need feedback are you getting what I'm, I'm saying or so that you understand what I'm saying so um, if you if you think uh, okay great you got it okay perfect so in other words my name is my brand my face is my brand so when we talk about how important it is 
to use something familiar. And if you look at these images, there is one in there that's not me. Can you pick out which one it is? <laughs> Tell me which one of those images is not actually myself, my uh, Linda Cromar. Can you tell? It did a pretty good job of pulling up my, yep, the fourth one over. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it did a pretty good job, but that one doesn't look like me enough. You know, it looks a little bit like me. And another thing, uh, sometimes when things try to pick up, you know, this is not a person. It's a, it's an algorithm in, in Google that obviously pulls the, this information up. So uh, when you do this, there can be where it's not completely correct. So if you want to apply this to yourself, or if you want to think about some of the major brands out there everybody recognizes, like Coca-Cola and Nike and Hershey's and even Kellogg's, what do you think of when you, th when you hear those names? You hear those names and you know what they stand for. You know what their image is. You know what products they sell. You know why they sell those products. The why might actually be more important than the actual products. For instance, I don't sell a health and wellness company. I don't sell uh, a lot of things that a lot of people do because I, my focus, my actual uh, belief is that I'm a teacher, I'm a trainer, and I want to help other people that have actually been in a place where they're failing and they want to change that. And that's what I want to do to help other people. But I'm more specific about it because I've learned how to use social media in the right way. And a lot of people haven't. And so if you think about it, when you go out on your main feed of any one of the places, even on Periscope, if you go and look at Periscope and you go look at the most of the content on the front page, they're all saying, here's my product, here's my opportunity. And they might not say it directly, but a lot of the time that's what they're saying. And if you think about it, if you look at a, an ad, say, with Coca-Cola, you see people having fun and drinking Coca-Cola. Or if you see people, uh, an ad about Nike, you see people running and enjoying that process, and you see them wearing really cool um, workout clothes and shoes, and especially the shoes. So obviously, it's an image thing. So how could you do that for yourself? First of all, you start thinking about what your brand is all about. Like you'll always find these darker shades of red associated with my name. I decided early on that that was part of my brand. You won't find me suddenly changing this to pink or to blue because that isn't my brand. My brand is this red. Um, even if you look back at this same logo, where did it go? This same one that I did just, uh, just for the purpose of making it easy for you to have something to look at. And I used this a lot for the last week when my front camera was not working because of the upgrade to i9 to the operating system nine and so obviously I'm using red as one of my major colors I always work with and I use a shade of yellow or orange generally with it maybe a, a splash of a little bit of turquoise but I don't get too far off with too many other colors and that's because that's what appeals to me and kind of tells you who I am So how can somebody do this that is brand new in the marketplace? First of all, start, start thinking about who you are. What attracts you? What makes you feel good? And not just about your product or your service, but something deeper. What is it that makes you want to be part of whatever you're doing? And then try to bring those emotions into what your brand is. Because if you think about <clears throat> if you think about the Coca-Cola ads or the Nike ads, have if you think about any of those kind of ads, you realize that there's a feeling that they're creating. Uh, okay, here's another good one: iPhone and uh, the the Apple Store people. You know the Apple brand. 
very much has incredible uh, ability to create a feeling. Even when they were doing the watch commercials, did any of you watch the the uh, the Apple Watch commercials in particular? Because this this is really cool. Did you watch any of those? Because when they were, especially when they were introducing it, did you get the feeling of what they were trying to say? Because they didn't say much. They showed a lot of images, but they didn't say much. What they did say in their images was it was a lifestyle thing. It was something that made you, uh, helped you connect better with other people. It made it made it possible for you. Yeah, they did an awesome job with it. And um, so, can you think of ways that you can create that kind of feeling? You can't copy what these great big brands are doing, but you can decide who you are. And when you do that, you're going to have a better result because you're not going to be spamming. You're not going to be throwing things out there. And whenever you do connect with any new product or service, you're going to say, does this fit my brand? And if it doesn't, then you don't do it. That makes it real easy. So if you want to connect with me, again, you can always do that by going, you know, you're already on Periscope, but you can also follow me on Twitter, and that helps you connect with me and find out when my next scopes are. I try to do it around the same time every day, uh, unless there's some conflict that uh, gets in the way. But uh, also I have a, a class in uh, Facebook. It's a, a group, actually. You can you can attach, get into that by going to parasocialability.com. That's parasocialability.com, and that's on that graphic as well, right there. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Come on back and tell me the next time I scope about how you're doing with your brand. And connect with me on Facebook. And let's figure out a way to get you going in your business even better and stronger than where you are right now. And those of you that just followed or just came in, definitely go and check out our replay. That will be available in Twitter and Periscope now and on Catch. All from the same uh, place and thanks a lot for joining Mandy and, and all of your wonderful comments. I appreciate that and your hearts and we'll be talking again tomorrow. Bye for